No, SpongeBob is not a real sponge, okay? I'm not sorry for breaking it to you. Sponges look like this. They have spikes, little things. They definitely don't have friends like this. And it's like, why is there a squirrel? Why is there a squirrel? And they don't eat food either. They filter feed. They don't chew on things. And definitely not Krabby Patties. Definitely not Krabby Patties. Also, if you notice in these pictures, spon the sponges aren't running around after a little plankton or anything like that. They sit in the same place. They're immobile. They can't move. The, the little buds that come off of them when they reproduce move slightly, and they move with cilia, but these buds can only move for about a couple weeks, and then they settle down and grow into things with branches, as you've seen, and they just kind of split apart. It's very cool, actually. Sponges also don't have any nervous system. Um, they don't really have much of anything. They're very simple creatures, and they're believed to be one of the first multicellular creatures in evolution, so a big jump from little tiny things to bigger things like humans today. Sponges live pretty much everywhere in the world um, underwater. They occur from everywhere from Antarctica to, I mean, South America and places like that. And they are a lot of different shapes and colors and a lot of different ways of protecting themselves as well. Some sponges have spikes on them that can poke predators that are trying to eat them or anything living on them. And then Sometimes they have poison, although this is less common, and humans can get a rash or irritation from touching the sponge for too long. Now, back to SpongeBob. So one thing that's actually somewhat true about this show is that humans are trying to catch and sell sponges. It's a huge market, actually, in Florida and places where tourists go and go swim, and people just capture these sponges, they cut them off, and it's terrible, really. Sponges are a huge part of the environment, especially in the ecosystem of the sea, and not only do they release nitrogen into the water, but they filter bacteria to eat from the water. And so this market is just destroying the ecosystem, and coral reefs, including sponge reefs, are also disappearing. And there are 5,000 species, but people are making them go extinct, just as with a lot of other animals and things, so we just need to be aware of other creatures.